Yo, what's up everybody? This is Duga Art. I'm back again with another tutorial. Today we're going to do an abstract painting and let's just jump right into it. All right, we're going to jump straight onto the canvas by putting some paint right onto it. Um, I'm using a lot of lighter colors right here just to start off. I usually like to use lighter colors in the beginning and work my way to some darker colors. And also I usually like to use a lot of warmer colors and work my way to darker, um, more uh, cool colors. So that's kind of the process I'm going here. So I'm putting the paint right on the canvas and then I'm going to take my brush straight to it. The type of brush that I'm using is a wider uh, coarse brush and I like to use this coarse brush because it really gives a lot of uh, nice brush strokes and it, you really can see the definition of each stroke with this type of brush. Um, a finer brush won't give you that same look so for this background I'm going to use a coarse brush. And as you can see, I'm loading the paint directly onto the brush, and now I'm just hitting it with the can on the canvas. Um, I like to do this because I like to just get a lot of paint right onto the uh, brush and not have to continuously dip it into somewhere. So I put the paint directly on the brush. And now we're going to just continue to um, put different colors onto the canvas. I really want you to explore different colors and you don't have to do exactly what I do uh, in my tutorial. Um, so you can use different colors and you can use your brush different ways. Um, this is just one technique that I do. I like to just do carefree brush strokes in different directions. And so that way it kind of gives it a nice pattern and a nice, you know, uniformity with the painting. But I really want you to explore it your own ways and techniques and get creative with this process. All right, now I've washed my brush out because I had a lot of different colors on it. And now I'm starting to use some of my cool colors. Um, and I'm doing the same technique as before, just a free flowing brush strokes, different directions, and kind of really put mixing those colors together. Um, for this part too, I like to keep my paints wet. I don't like to let them dry too much in between so that way some of the colors can mix and flow with each other.
right, now we're nearing the end of this first part. This is like the background. And a lot of people like it like this, so you could just end here if you wanted to. Um, I, I usually like to add a little more texture to the top of my painting. But this is basically how um, your first section is gonna look, you know, depending on how you do your painting. All right, let's jump right into the um, next section here. You see I have a palette knife, and these are really good for creating a lot of different textures. Um, I use these often when I'm creating textures on my paintings. And you can see with this knife that I am, all I'm doing is putting the paint directly onto the palette knife and skimming it across the canvas. And you wanna make sure that your first layer is dry before you do this. And then afterwards, you just start skimming the painting with different colors. I like to do a lot of vertical and horizontal lines, but like I said before, you know, your painting is unique to you, so do whatever you feel, you know, that you like to do. So if you want to do circular patterns or whatever the case is, you know, go for it, really. Just explore different ways to use this palette knife and use these tools. Right, now I'm kind of finishing up my last colors um, I like to usually add white and black at the end I don't like to use too much of it so it don't overpower the painting but now I'm just adding my last pieces and we have our finished piece and it's really as simple as that um, I really don't like to do too much and, and make it too complex I like to keep it simple so that way the colors and the vibrancy of the painting kind of just stands alone and you don't have to muddle it down with too many colors and too much things going on too many patterns and this is the end of our painting.
all right guys we're at the end of the painting now i really hope that you like this tutorial if you did please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate it i have a whole lot more content coming in the near future and i appreciate all y'all watching thanks until next time peace out